welcome back friends in this video tutorial we'll be learning how to culture uh, viruses inside the cell so uh, culturing viruses okay now we'll be talking about very basic view of the culturing of viruses now viruses are uh, particles as we all know that they consist of two important things one is nucleic acid another one is the capsid proteins right now these particles uh, when they arrange together when they only inserted inside some host tissue or host cell they become active they functions like active or living cell and then they trigger a set of machineries like DNA replication uh, and they find in transcription and produces some viral proteins right so until and unless they insert into some cell they won't act like uh, cells right they won't act like living cells so if this is a viral particle and inside that we are having our viruses so let's say inside uh, there we are having uh, the genetic material of that virus so if, if it is present outside it is behaving like non non living remember non living uh, particle so just behave like particle but when they insert itself inside some host tissue in those case if this is the host cell inside the host cell it becomes active because after entering inside the host cell this virus particles like this protein components are disintegrated from the nucleic acid component and there disintegration leads to the release of the viral genetic material as well as some capsid proteins and all these things are released outside now in those case this uh, genetic material of the viruses they trigger uh, the transcription and finally they produce some viral proteins right now using these viral proteins they sometimes kill the cell and release and what, what they do actually using these viral proteins they can produce progeny viruses progeny viruses lot of viruses are generated sorry spelling so a lot of viruses are generated so if i draw the progeny virus i can write something like this a lot of progeny viruses are developed inside so here we are having lots of progeny viruses and then they can degrade the cell and leave outside or sometimes they just come outside by taking some region of the cell membrane from the host cell right so in any reason we, if we need to culture this virus if we need to culture the virus in laboratory outside any of the actual infective host cell we need to put some host organism onto which they can be cultured right similarly in case of uh, but we, we know that in case of bacteria they can grow individually if they so if we provide them nutrients but uh, this virus particles will never behave like viruses until and unless we provide them some host cell so we need to grow these cells grow these viruses in cell culture and especially some cell culture uh, won't result in good response so usually in the very beginning the viruses are cultured inside the yolk sac so it is cultured in developing egg so it is cultured in developing egg with with chicken embryo with chicken embryo so that is how we can culture them right so for that reason what we need to know we need to know the basic structure of egg uh, before going into the discussion so if I draw the basic structure of the egg how it will look like it will look something like this so let let us take uh, the color let me take this one uh, let's say okay this one so if I draw the egg structure like that if this is the chicken egg now this egg is having several layers and the layers here what we are getting in we are having something like this this is the region like that and there are certain regions actually right so this part of this egg it is having a kind of region slightly region of this back side here we can see the air pad like structure and here we are having uh, inside this region we are having kind of region like that and inside this region we are having actual embryo here in this red color so red color region will be the chicken embryo so if I draw this different section this is the actual embryo and rest of the part there is this yellow colored region inside this is called allantoic cavity and outside that this blue colored section this section so if I draw this 
here let's say this one this this yellow colored section this is called allantoic cavity now this blue colored section is called so if i draw the blue colored section here throughout this place this whole region will be filled with blue color this section is called uh, Corioallantoic cavity and this region here this is the yolk sac this is the yolk sac and this is the embryo right so these are the different regions now for the culturing of viruses inside the embryo the the only way of culturing or injecting the embryo is via the injection or the syringe right so we can use a syringe so syringe is used to inject virus particles inside the egg right that's how we can do right so if we take those a virus particles inside the syringe and we can inject them inside this egg right so we can inject those particles in different layers in different regions of this egg right so actually there are four regions like this some of the viruses can grow well in this allantoic cavity some of them grow well in the uh, corioallantoic cavity some of them grow in in the amniotic cavity if i i am not wrong amniotic cavity means uh, the cavity where embryo is developing so this is the region of amniotic cavity some of the uh, develops well in yolk sac so depending upon the type of virus we want to culture we will inject them in different places right so let me uh, write which are the places for injecting the virus let's say here so we can inject them in this corio corioallantoic cavity corioallantoic cavity we can inject them directly into this allantoic cavity we can inject uh, them in amniotic cavity and also we can also inject them in this yolk sac so you can inject them in di these different places and it completely depends on the type of virus we are dealing with it completely depends on the type of virus we are dealing with right because if we look that this allantoic cavity is having different composition than the corioallantoic cavity it is completely different than the structural configuration and nutrient source present in the yolk right so depending upon the type of uh, the nutrients virus need uh, we we need to culture them in different places right so that's how we can do this thing so this is the basic view of how to culture them in in, in this uh, egg and i hope that's helpful thank you